I think they, uh, there's so much out there, by the way, on the internet now, that they can equip themselves. But they've got to be aware that there is, uh, there is this slightly dark side to it. And there is enough out there that you can, even on Wikipedia, uh, you can Google um, dangers of method acting. And using that information alone, you can prepare yourself. OK, well, um, I know I'm going to be going into this, so I'm going to be very, uh, very aware of myself, who I am. Maybe talk to friends. Let your friends know that you're going into a place um, as Nicole Kidman, actually, uh, in a role that she was nominated for an award. Uh, it was the rabbit hole. And she played. Uh, a grieving mother who had just lost her four-year-old son. She accepted this role one year after giving birth to a daughter. Now, she was already well aware ahead of the game that she was entering into extremely treacherous emotional territory. And she told her husband, look, I'm going to go, have to go to exist in a place of limbo for a little while. I just want you to understand that. So she really had her head screwed on. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. And uh, I forget who the actor was who played her husband in the role. But it was advised that perhaps that what they should do is attend real grief sessions and join parents who had recently lost children. It was so intense that, that she could only attend two and said it was raw. It was so raw that she couldn't actually handle it. So she went into the role, and it was during the role that she realized she was losing her equilibrium. And it, she said it took her for, six, again, five, six months of coming out of that, of having recurring nightmares about losing a child. Because if you haven't lost a child, and God forbid you should use that, as a memory to emote. Uh, I would say, don't go there, don't go there. But the next thing is, she's just given birth to, uh, she has a one-year-old daughter, and now she's immediately, what are you gonna do? You're gonna transfer that grief to that precious little child that's yours. And you go, how would I feel if I lost my child? Yeah. I've done that before, and it's, it's not a good place to be. It's not. That is an extraordinary example of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you hear, you know, people like Heath Ledger. Um, yes. The actors who, you know, do e extreme roles like that, and then, you know, yeah. um, something sad happens, and, and you do wonder, is it because of those roles? Did they overdose, or did, mm. you know, has that led them down that route? And, and the simple answer is probably. I think that probably, with Heath, of course, there's this speculation of whether his incredible role as the Joker played a part in that. Um, we know from the anecdotes of people who have gone through it and survived, like um, Kate Winslet, uh, Nicole Kidman, uh, that there is this hazard and it really does exist. We know that Heath Ledger was keeping journals as the Joker and was really delving into his dark side because um, uh, anybody who's a student of Jung knows that there is a dark side. And sometimes we can be disturbed by things that might come to our own consciousness in dreams. And you go, my god, I didn't know I was capable of even thinking something like that. But that's OK. You have to acknowledge your dark side, maybe even love your dark side, acknowledge it's there, and just strive for the light. We could get into a whole spiritual dimension here, which is yeah, which is easy to get into, but which I won't at this point. It's interesting you say, because when you do think about, just touch on it briefly, when you do talk about the, the process of acting and, you know, the mind, body and, and soul, yeah. it, it does strike me that there's something very spiritual about that and about the, the nature of acting and something that nobody really talks about, or not that I've heard of and much conversation about. I have seen a handful of people for what we've been talking about, which are people who are having issues that may or may not be associated with roles that they're either currently playing or have played. Um, because those, unlike somebody who says, well, I know I'm depressed, I know that I lack self-confidence, I know I've got a, a problem with smoking or something. Um, and let's take the uh, realm of performing arts. If a dancer has an Achilles tendon problem or an ankle strain, that person can't dance. 
they can't go ahead because it's something that's obvious, it's something that they know about, and something that prevents them from doing what they do. Um, somebody whose name escapes me right now referred to actors as the hidden patients in that they can suffer injuries of a, a psychological nature to greater or lesser degrees that are not apparent to themselves or they might think well yeah it's just one of those things or to their friends and in fact it may be that their friends see something first of all a change in behavior you're not acting yourself what is that oh, well, I'm okay um, an actor will spend hours and hours getting into a role but from what I understand at the end of the night after that first cut that last curtain call um, they go off, they get, they get their makeup off, they go out with their friends, they socialize, they drink. Very few, and there are a few that do this, go through a ritual of cooling down, stepping out, whatever you want to call it. And I think rituals are very important in this regard because a ritual, whether it's religious or non-religious, is very important because it gives a degree of importance to whatever happens within that ritual. You come to the ritual saying, okay, I'm going to do I'm going to do a prescribed set of activities now that mean that I'm going to, to come out of this, that I will leave it behind, and then I'll go out with my friends. But the number of people that spend hours getting into a role and almost no time at all in acting schools are a little guilty of this, of not instructing people that there are hidden dangers. Be careful, look after yourself. Carry on watching at actors-anonymous.com.